What's up, rock stars? Coach Betty Rocker here. Welcome to this super fun, strong hamstrings, booty, and calves workout. You're gonna be working those legs and booty today. It's gonna be an awesome workout. You're gonna be done in under 30 minutes, which is fabulous. So grab some weighted objects and have some space to move. For today's workout, one thing that will also help you is have a couch or an elevated surface that you can lean your back against for some hip thrusts, which is actually what we're gonna start out with. So if you don't have that option, you could also do a bridge lift on your back. So you lay on your back with your knees bent, that would also work. But I'm gonna do this up against the couch, bracing my back. So go ahead and bring your body down to the mat, sitting down and I'm gonna put one or two weighted objects in my hip creases. Um, we're gonna do a single leg hip thrust to start with. So I'm gonna just start out with one of the weighted objects on the side that I plan to work with. So let's first come into reverse tabletop. Make sure we're set up for success. You can even do a couple of practice lifts just to feel where you want your legs to be. You want, as you come up, you wanna be at that 90 degree bend. And once you feel really secure here, go ahead and extend your left leg and you're gonna be working with your right side. So you're gonna drop your right side down and then press up and squeeze at the top. Now you could be doing this with just your own body weight and you will feel quite a lot of action <laughs> here in this glute as you work for this. Come on, up and down. Now I'd like you to go for about eight to 10 reps here. And what that means is that it, the resistance that you're using should slow you down to where you're really struggling to go past that 10 rep range. And you might be able to get to eight reps. And don't worry about the rep range if that's too much to think about right now. Just focus on your reps and make sure that they're strong and that you're feeling them in your glutes. You might feel a little bit of work in your hamstrings as well. Now, when you get to the top of where you can't go anymore, you can't push any more reps out, plant both feet down, shift your weighted object over to the left hip crease, and don't let me rush you if you're still going on that first side. Please feel free to complete your reps. And one of the nice things about having a, you know, suggested rep range like I gave you is that it can help you calibrate. So if you're able to do like 20 reps on that first side before you feel tired, that lets you know that the next time we do this in round two, you could try to go a little heavier or add a little more resistance. And if you don't have any extra resistance to add, you can hold a little longer at the top and just squeeze to fatigue that muscle even more and make lighter weight feel heavier. But right now, focus on doing the same number of reps on both sides, no matter how you do them. Oh, I got one more. And when you're done, you can lower your hips down and set your weighted objects off to the side. Please don't worry if you're still going or if you stopped before me, this is your workout. I'm just here to be the guide and give you suggestions and tips and make sure that your form is really supportive for you having the best workout possible, activating the right muscles. And what we just did there with the hip thrust is we really activated our glutes <laughs> and your core was engaged. You have the perfect setup to move into our second move, which is a Romanian deadlift. And that is gonna be a stiff legged deadlift. We're gonna get a lot of hamstring activity in this next move. And you're gonna have some back activation as well. Core is gonna be braced, but I don't wanna rush you, so if you're still going or you just need a quick breather in between moves, take a pause. I'm gonna have some rock and restore. Mm. Some of my aminos to help replenish. And feel free to drink some water, just whatever you have. Now, Romanian deadlifts, like I said, a fairly stiff-legged deadlift. And we're gonna have both feet planted at about hip distance shoulders back and down and i'd like you to be in a six to ten rep range for this so find an amount of resistance that makes it hard for you to go past 10 reps now some of you who are more experienced maybe you're using a barbell to do this uh, maybe you've got heavier dumbbells maybe you're just using dumbbells whatever you have i want your shoulders back and down i don't want any pulling forward with the weight and there's also going to be no leaning back so we're straight as an arrow core is braced our weighted objects are gonna graze our shins as we send our hips back. Legs stay straight. We come down to a flat back and then powerfully pull ourselves back forward. 
hips thrust forward as we come up, but we don't lean back. We're also going to really keep those weights intentionally touching our shins as we hinge forward and back. Press the hips forward as you come up. Keep your core engaged as you send the hips back with straight legs. Count your reps. Nice job. Hinge and straighten. Don't round your back. It's totally natural if your toes duck out slightly. Great job. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Head and neck should follow your spine. You don't want to look down or up. If you can help it, it's fine if you need to check your position. Now I'm going to be on the upper end of that rep range I suggested. And remember, it's a suggested rep range. You want to go till your body is feeling fatigued. This first set, you know, it, it should be a little lighter. It might be a little bit lighter as you're getting into it. And plus you just did that fantastic single leg hip thrust to really get into those legs. Last one for me. And please finish your set where you're at. And you want to check in with yourself because we've got two more rounds of these moves to do. So if you're like, wow, I was able to do like 15 or 20 of those, maybe try going a little heavier for your next set. If you don't have any options to go heavier, well, do more reps. It's still gonna fatigue you. It just takes a little longer. It's all good. Uh, with a deadlift, there isn't really a pause or a bounce or a pulse that you can do. You wanna stay safe. However, you can switch to a single leg staggered stance Romanian deadlift. It's just gonna take a little bit longer to get through the set. So please do whatever you need to do to adjust um, and just enjoy the move. There's a lot more to some of these moves and how much weight we can do or how many perfect reps we can do. A lot of it is about the form and the integrity in our body that we're showing our body how to move. It's very functional. So don't worry if your reps are not exactly where you think they're supposed to be. It's just suggestions so you can play around with strengthening. Move number three is the hamstring pull-in. So this is one where you've got a few options. You could use an exercise ball. This is just one option. If you're comfortable with this, it does require some core stability. You're gonna have your feet up on the ball and you're rolling it in and out. You can also get some free cardboard squares or you can buy those slider type things um, if you, or if you have those around and you can put your feet on these and you can slide them in and out and see if I can make a little space for this. So you can lay on your back or you can come up onto your hands and lift up and slide in and out like this in a reverse tabletop. You could also brace your back against the couch or an elevated surface and slide your feet in and out. The same thing will work for you with the exercise ball. So we'll put our feet up on the exercise ball. Let me just get my hair out of my way. I'm gonna put my feet up on the exercise ball and I'm gonna roll it in and out from this position. So get into a comfortable position, whatever your choice is, and go for as many reps as you can do. And I'm gonna try for maybe 10 to 15. If I can do more, I'll do more, but I'm gonna aim for that rep range. Again, it's purely subjective, just giving you something to aim for today. Let's go, pulling those feet in. And whether you have the sliders or you have the ball, you can really think about digging your heels down, keeping your hips level, because both of these variations are gonna require core stability. The ball just rolls around a lot more, so it's a little hard to balance, but you just stay focused. You can have your hands at your sides to help support you wherever it feels comfortable. And when you get to the top of your rep range, you can move whatever prop you had out of the way and then you are done with that first set. Take a quick breather. We're gonna move into some calf raises. I'm just gonna have some more um, of my Rock and Restore uh, aminos with all those good branch chain aminos. For your calf raises, think about going a little higher in the rep range, like a 12 to 18 rep range today should be fun. So go ahead and pick up some weighted objects. And we're gonna start out with our feet facing forward, 
pretty parallel to each other. Again, don't let your shoulders round forward. Bring them upright. Brace through your core. Lift your heels. We're going to do five counts. Two, three, four, and five. Bring your heels together. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your toes together. Five, four, three, two, and last one. If you're still feeling like you have more to give, go back to the first position and repeat this. See if you can do one more set of these, but also stop when you get to the top of your rep range. The calves are surprisingly strong. I think that's it for me. I, I didn't get to the last sequence. I was cashed, cashed in. Take a quick breather when you're done. Don't let me rush you. And we're going to move on to move five, which is the last move in the circuit before we go back and do this again two more times. So it's an alternating reverse curtsy lunge. And I'd like for you to get about eight to 10 reps on each side. So choose your resistance accordingly. And you can just guess this first set, see how it feels. Ah. I like to have the weighted objects up on my shoulders for this. And I'm going to start with my right leg stepping back behind me, keeping my body upright, back to center. Step my left leg behind me, front knee bends, and I'm not leaning forward over my knee, keeping that body upright. Nice. Now, if the curtsy position bothers you at all, because we're stepping back and across our body, if that bothers you at all, just stick to regular straight back reverse lunges. Also a fantastic move that will work similar muscles. Let's go. Come on. You got this. Now my knee does touch down just gently and it's totally okay if you come all the way down, just don't slam your knee down. You want to be very, uh, slow in the deceleration as you step back behind you. Great job. I'm going to bring my weights down to the side, just switching positions and noticing that my shoulders were creeping forward a bit. Just going to work to keep the chest open, shoulders down and relaxed. Nice job. Come on. When you get to the top of your rep range, I want you to set those weighted objects off to the side. Take a breather before we go back through this. But finish your set. <laughs> now this is a low impact workout. That there's no jumping. However, low impact workouts are sometimes high volume because we're pushing for resistance, for reps, and your heart rate will go up. So give yourself a moment to cool it down, calm it down before you move on to the next move. replenish, rehydrate. We're going to go back to the top. So again, eight to 10 reps each side for your single leg hip thrusts. Where, would, where would, did you leave off with that first set? Can you go heavier? Can you add a pulse at the top? Do you want to add a pause? Totally up to you. I'm going to start with the right leg. So I'm going to put a weighted object in my right hip crease. I'm going to brace my back against the side of the couch. Once again, you can lay on the mat with your knees bent and do a bridge, a single leg bridge lift, straightening out through the left leg and lift. Option to add that pause at the top, count your reps. You're gonna do the same number on both sides. Whew. I am feeling these, <laughs> these are tough. Great job, rock stars, come on. When you get to the top of your rep range on that first leg, I want you to switch sides. Make sure that your feet are really lined up in a 90 degree bend with your knee. When you come up, you might need to walk a foot out a bit just to really support yourself. Listen to your body chicken with your alignment. Great job. You got this. Finish your set strong and take a quick break 
when you're done. Think back to what challenged you in the deadlift, the last set, and see where you're at for this next set. Six to 10 is the rep range for today, but remember that that's just a suggestion and you wanna work with the equipment you have and still fatigue your body. So if you have lighter equipment, do more reps. Really focus on how you are going through those moves. Always safely pick the equipment up. If you ever need some tutorials on deadlift form or the foundations of functional movement, we have an entire workshop for you guys that is amazing. Uh, the deadlift workshop is a really good one. Shoulders back, core braced, send those hips back, keeping the weights in close to your body and then bring the hips back forward. You got this. Count your reps. Come on, rock stars. Stay strong in that form. Don't let your weights float out in front of your legs. Keep them in close to your body. You get to the top of your rep range. Safely set your weighted objects aside. Quick breather. Don't let me rush you. Finish strong. We'll move into our hamstring curls or hamstring pull-ins. One other variant for the hamstring pull-in, of course, if you're in the gym, you can use a hamstring curl machine for this exercise. Um, and if you happen to have a, a long stretchy band, you could attach it around like the leg of a piece of furniture, lay on your stomach and pull that up towards you with the band around your ankles. Just another variation. There's a lot of ways to work those hamstrings. Go ahead and set yourself up with your chosen variation, digging those heels in. And when you're ready, Challenge yourself, do as many as you can. Keep those hips level, keep your core braced. <laughs> Great job, come on rock stars, you got this. Count your reps. <sighs> Use your hands for balance and support as needed. Sometimes you'll need to readjust your feet on the sliders or the ball. That's totally fine and normal. Oof. It actually challenges your core stability even more to have to make those micro adjustments while you're in the middle of your set. When you're done, feel that burn in your hamstrings. We're gonna move into our calf raises. Oof. So select your heaviest option of weight that you can do um, you know 12 to 18 reps with and we'll play again with that set of fives and see how far you get <sighs> safely get your weighted objects up at your sides or up on your shoulders feet are going to start out facing forward shoulders come back in their sockets we're lifting the heels and lowering them <sighs> great job come on Go ahead and bring the heels together. Bring the toes together. Vary your reps. Keep your core engaged. Protect your back. Don't lean forward. Don't rock. Come back to the start position. Vary it up. Feet are parallel again. Oh, <laughs> and then heels together if you're still going and feel free to do toes together if you're still going. I'm done. This is your workout. All of the things we're doing, the rep ranges, the amount of resistance, it's all subjective to each of us. So just use the cues, do your best. 
and we'll end the circuit for round two with our alternating reverse curtsy lunges. So how did that last set feel? Did you use a, an amount of resistance that felt just right? Was it too light? Was it too heavy? You get to choose and decide for round two. Whatever you do, safely pick your weighted objects up and we're gonna begin stepping back. We're gonna have a solid 90 degree bend at the knee keeping the core very nicely braced. The body stays upright. We don't lean forward and we use a deceleration control as we step it back. So we're not smacking our knees down. Remember you have the option to step straight back rather than uh, stepping behind you and across to the curtsy. Do what is best for you. Finish your set even number of reps both sides eight to ten each side is your suggested rep range <sighs> come on rock stars <sighs> you got it <sighs> when you get to the top take a breather we're gonna go right back through that entire circuit one final time starting again with those single leg hip thrusts Catch your breath, have some rock and restore. I'm gonna start with the right side. Starting out by balancing my back up against my elevated surface. Placing weighted object in my right hip crease, extending through the left leg. Drop it down, press it up, drop and press. Count your reps. Make sure that your leg is bending at that 90 degree angle as you come up and that your knee isn't challenged in any way by having your foot in too close to your seat. You got this. Come on. Count your reps. When you get to the top of your rep range on that first side, you switch it to the other side and let's go. Come on. This is the last set of these. You got it. <laughs> so good. <sighs> Same number of reps. <sighs> Woo! You get to the top of that rep range, set the weighted objects off to the side. Quick breather. And we'll do our last set of deadlifts. How you feeling? I don't want to rush you. Remember, you can always pause the video if I'm going too fast. You do not get a better result by taking less rest. In fact, sometimes you get a worse result because your body hasn't had a chance to fully recover. So you can't hit that next rep with as much energy and force as you would have had you just given yourself a quick little bit more recovery time. So that's something to pay attention to as you get heavier and heavier, for instance, or you're challenging yourself at a higher volume for you. That's subjective to each of us. Shoulders back in their sockets, core braced, hips come back, back stays straight, <sighs> pull it back up, pressing the hips forward. Remember, as we come up, we don't lean back. Body comes up straight as an arrow. At all times, those weights are gonna hug in close to our body. <sighs> nice job. Count your reps, eight. Six to 10 is a good rep range for this set. Let's go. You got it. Finish strong, it's your last set. When you get to the top of that rep range, set your weighted objects down safely. And we'll set up for our hamstring pull-ins. <sighs> that volume is getting me. Feels great though. Feels really great. I think a lot about how these types of workouts really help support bone density. I was reading these crazy stats about 
older women and how one of the leading causes of death is falls because uh, so many older women have low bone density, either from not eating enough protein, so they don't have enough circulating amino acids to help support them with muscle loss and bone density. They're not doing resistance training. They haven't resistance trained maybe earlier in their life like you are. So um, it's really, really awful. So share this type of information with those you love. Help them make nutrition choices that support them and nourish them from the inside out. It's never too late to start doing body weight exercises and building a foundation safely. Um, it's never too late to start eating a little bit more protein to get those aminos into your system. We all go through different stages in life, right? Let's start these curls. This is your last set. Get them done. Focus on the strength you're building on the support you're giving your body. Remember, the more we take care of ourselves, the better we are able to help and support those we love. So focus on you right now in this moment. Focus on yourself. Focus on your body. Listen to your body. There's no pressure to perform for anyone. It's just about these deposits that you keep making in your health savings account that will serve you for years to come. This foundation you are building it is so valuable. Each day that you train or make a healthy choice with your diet, it makes a difference. <sighs> Woo, last one for me. Great job. When you're done, you can set your stuff aside, whatever props you use for the pull-ins, and we're going to move into our Hey, calf raises, last set. I've encountered several very healthy 80 plus year old women recently and I've just been so impressed with them and with their energy and their like gusto for life and how autonomous they are. And that's the vision I hold for myself at that age. I really want to feel like I'm capable and strong. And I think a lot about those days when I don't feel like working out or I don't wanna make the healthier choice. <laughs> and then I think about who I wanna be in the future. And I wanna set myself up. You know, I wanna keep making those deposits like I was saying. Let's start those calf raises. Feet are parallel, facing forward for five. Heels together for five. <sighs> Go at your own pace. Toes together for five. Start with that and then repeat the sequence. Again, as many reps as you can. Now, we gotta live, we gotta enjoy life. Life isn't just about the workouts and the healthy eating, right? It's also about spending time with people we love. It's about those special occasions. So there's just gotta be balance. But I always feel like when we start with a foundation of health and we think about why, we want to be healthy, then the rest of it becomes a little easier. We can deviate, we can enjoy things. We don't have to be perfect all the time, but we have a foundation that's contributing to the future we want to create for ourselves. Mm. Oh. When you finish up those calf raises, join me for our last set of reverse curtsy lunges. This is the final push. Don't rush, I'm not, I don't wanna rush you, I'm just getting prepared <laughs> for this last move. It's gonna feel great thinking about which uh, amount of resistance I want to use. Again, this is an eight to 10 rep range for this um, last move. So picking up your weights safely, you can have them at your sides or up on your shoulders. Shoulders are up, body is upright, core is braced. We're gonna step it back and then forward again, back, forward again. And you're just alternating sides. Count your reps as you go. Great job. Awesome work. You got it. You're almost to the end. Come on, Rockstar. When you finish your set, safely set down your weighted objects. 
Amazing job, rock stars. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, I would love to see you do more fun workouts like this. And if you love focusing on your legs, booty, and abs, I've got this fabulous program. It's just 30 days long. It's a booty and abs challenge, and it will give you a full body program with a special emphasis on your legs, booty, and abs. So if you wanna check that out, you can grab the link in this video or on this page and uh, get all the details. So thank you again so much for working out with me today. As always, I'm Betty Rocker, and you are so awesome, flossom, and amazing. See you real soon.